Houston departure November 809091, five miles south of David Wayne Hooks Airport, 1,500 feet. Scott 809091, East Butcher, to contact, three miles south of Hooks Airport. Maintain Z for outside the Bravo. Continue southbound, follow I-10 eastbound. All right, maintain outside the Bravo, I-10 eastbound, 809091. We're in Houston, David Wayne Hooks Airport, with Jessica. Yeah, I fly Falcon 50s and a part-time contract pilot. Isn't that pretty cool? She's gonna get in a piston for the first time in like a year, right? A little over a year, yeah. yeah. This is a busy airport. It doesn't really seem like it standing out here on the ramp, but this is a busy airport. It was hellaciously busy getting in here. I was like still 10 miles out and they told me to get down to pattern altitude, and follow the highway, enter the downwind, extend your downwind. Sounds a student pilot's night. going around. And <laughs> it, was, it was nuts. So it should be good. So we're gonna head down to Galveston, Texas, which is right on the coast. It's not very far out. We might, we might get a good little cross country in here, but it's gonna be pretty much busy the whole time. We pretty much have to traverse clear across the middle of the Houston Bravo. We're not gonna go, go across the middle, we're gonna skirt around the edges and stuff, but it's gonna be busy. We're probably gonna be low level. Absolutely. And that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be busy. I like busy flights. <laughs> They're fun. All right, let's get the plane, let's, let's go. go. We're gonna go grab some seafood down in Galveston. Ooh, yeah. And that's a good thing, because I'm really freaking hungry. Let's get the plane started up. That's cool that they have this. Nine or nine or one, remain clear of class Bravo airspace until cleared in by departure. Departure frequency will be one two three point eight squawk zero four five one. Look, I mean outside of Bravo until cleared into departure one two three point eight squawk zero four five one eight zero nine or nine or one. November nine or nine or one affirmative. Up to seventeen hundred. Left mag, right mag out enunciation. There's a drop. Rising four eg back to both. Right mag, left mag out enunciation, there's a drop and a rise, and four EGTs, both are smooth, back to both. Carburetor heat, rise in the carb temp, a drop in RPM, and the EGTs are falling. Carburetor heat, back in. Brakes. Brakes release, and then the abort plan. Um, if anything happens on the takeoff roll, before we have rotated, we're gonna chop the power, get on the brakes, and abort the takeoff. Anything feel, doesn't feel right on the engine monitor, Airplane mechanically doesn't feel right, anything like that, we're aboarding. After takeoff, uh, after rotation, and before 1,000 AGL, which is going to be 1,200 on the altimeter, we're going to immediately push the nose down, pick something plus or minus that 30 degrees in front of us. Above 1,000 AGL, we can entertain a turn back to the runway. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, I'm ready. All righty. Hooks Tower, November 8, 0, 9, or 9, or 1, holding short of 1, 7, right at Charlie. 80991 Hooks Tower, wing 17 at Charlie, clear for takeoff, proceed on course, wind 2607, gust 17. Clear for takeoff, 17 right, proceed on course, 809 or Alrighty, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, strobes on, the pre takeoff checklist is complete. Yes, it is. Our final looked clear. Clear is fine. I see a big R. And a 17 on the runway. We're approaching a 17 on the HSI and a 17 on the compass. We're on the correct runway. Right Take off power set. RPM looks normal. Engine looks in the green and stable. Air speed's alive. 50 knots. There's 60 knots. Little encouragement. Oh, yeah. Tap the brakes. Positive climb. Gear up. Wonderful. Lights off, y'all damn on. <laughs> Plots only. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and just run there. 9091, cut back Houston departure, 123.8, good day. 123.8, 809091, good day. 391 uniform, wearing 17 right, clear to left. Houston departure, November 809091, five miles south of David Wayne Hooks Airport, 1,500 feet. Scott 809091, east departure, right of contact, three miles south of Hooks Airport. Maintain V for outside the Bravo. Continue southbound, follow I-10 eastbound. All right, maintain outside the Bravo. I-10 eastbound, 809091. Sweet. Number 9091, continue southbound to follow I-10 eastbound. We'll continue southbound to follow I-10 eastbound, 809091. You want to do the climb? Yeah. All right, 70 to 78. So we already got the speed. We're good there. Power. And the power is set. Your All mixture. Right. Mixture is... Let's lean it out a little bit. Bring it back in. It's probably going to be about 1450 on the EGT. Mixture set. All right, instruments. 
Cross check to calibrated, we're on a southbound heading, 1500 on the altitude bug, everything agrees. Proxy and landing lights? Uh, we're going to leave the landing light on. Okay. And flight plan. And we're talking. <laughs> we're talking. Checklist complete. Sweet. We don't need to do the cruise. Alright. A lot of times when it's that compact, I'll just run the climb checklist because it's got the same items that the cruise checklist has on it. Cool! I'm so excited! Thank you for this! this I haven't taken off like that! It's something that made me feel like I wasn't, wasn't a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're, so you're not complaining about the no, takeoff? No! Absolutely not! Because normally people are like, oh, this thing is so slow. No, it's refreshing! It is. I like flying little planes. And how slow it is because I, when you're in an environment like what I was doing, everything happens so fast. It does. So whenever you jump into Skyhawk and things are slow, you have time to like react and right. think and enjoy the takeoff. You know? Right. Because that's the coolest part. What's it is. the coolest? Houston Approach, AOA, go pop us with you. Eight for six, Beller with Zulu. Thank you, expect to this pressure Yeah, we'd like that visual for one sub, would be great, eh, go pop. Eight, seven on Matterport, Charlie, two and a half miles from back, maintain traffic. BFR, clear to RNAV, runway one seven approach. Maintain BFR, clear for the RNAV one seven, night for Charlie. So we're going to turn and follow I-10. Yeah, nine 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 one. If you haven't already, start to turn east on to follow the freeway. Okay, it's your nine nine one in the turn for uh, I-10 eastbound, eight zero nine one. Oh, this is going to be cool. I didn't realize that it, like, you said it, but it didn't register that it takes us right by downtown. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be awesome at night. All right. All right. Go pop it to maintain 5,000. All right, so, of course, enter below 4,500 for 155 Charlie. Thanks. Let us see, go pop the VFR trap 10 to 11 o'clock in 7 miles southbound, 4,500 restricted a Skyhawk. Stand by Mike Charlie, ready to contact 6 miles southwest of West Houston Airport, verify out soon. I'm at 2,500 for 155 Mike Charlie. 155 Mike Charlie, thanks. Hey, do you think you continue the uh, climb or do you need to stay uh, below 4,000 for now? Uh, negative, I can continue the climb uh, for 155 Mike Charlie and uh, clear class Bravo. 155 Mike Charlie, just about to leave the Bravo airspace. VFR climb to 10,500 approved. Alright, going to 10,500, thanks. 155 Mike Charlie. Welcome. Let's take off pop shots to the factory, instead of maintain 2,000. Yeah, Pat, we saw the traffic, no factor down to 2, there you go, pop. Signed by Mike Charlie, kind of Houston approach now, 119.1719. So, I don't know if you can see the San Jacinto Bonnet. I think you can see it on your map. I see it on the map. Okay. I see something sticking up way out there. Yeah. It's right in right between them. Maintain 3,000 Conqueror, 200 Romeo Golf. Number 9091, resume on navigation for Galveston Show. Resume on navigation for Galveston, 809091. Thank you, sir. All righty. You can begin your right turn, and you got direct Galveston on the HSI. You know how how I know that it's a freaking clear day? See straight ahead down there, those two towers? Uh -huh. Those are uh, condos. On, and on Galveston? On Galveston Island. Yeah. That is a clear day. Dang, how far is that? 33 miles. Well. Galveston, Shoals Field. Automated weather observation. Take the control. control. Okay, control. 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 I have one Sierra go traffic 12 o'clock and two and a half miles eastbound land Sierra 3000 in the climb. To send uh, VFR at or below 2000, advise Ellington and say. One Sierra go Wilco. Houston, November 809091 has weather at Galveston. For 80991, thank you, advise the airport in sight. 80991. I think I've got the airport in sight. I think I do too. Yeah, kind of a big blank. Montana, big big blank area. Right you want to wait? One Five, Before we uh, call it? Uh, no, we can call it. Houston, November 80991 has Galveston in sight. Got 991, contact Galveston Tower 120.57, good day. 12057, 80991, good day. Shoals Tower, November 80991, about 13 miles 
North of the field inbound for full stop. Swim rate zero nine or nine or one, Galveston Tower, straight into runway one four. Report a five mile final. Okay, straight in runway one four. Report a five mile final. Eight zero nine nine one. Easy. Easy peasy. Roll it to the right just a little bit. We'll square up a five mile final. All right. Established on final. Michelle's Tower, 80991, five mile final for runway 14. Number 80901, runway 14, clear to land, wind 15. Clear to land, runway 14, 80991. 1508, I think is what I got. Yeah, I think that, that sounds about right. Well, let's go ahead and do the uh, descent checklist. Alright, you got it. Uh, mixture. Make sure we're gonna we're below 3,000. We're going down to sea level. We're gonna roll it full rich. Fuel. Fuel selectors on both. Carb heat. Let's go ahead and get the carb heat out. A wash. We've got it. Altimeter. Altimeter 3013 cross checked. Instruments. Cross checked and calibrated. Descent checklist complete. Complete. Your pre landing. Let's go ahead and do the pre landing. Brakes. Firm. Uh, landing light. It's on. Autopilot. It's on. Belt and harness. I'm strapped in. New mixture. Mixture is full rich. Carb heat. Carb heat is on. Uh, fuel. Fuel selectors on both. Flaps. Flaps as required. We're coming down 300 knots. We'll wait for the wide arc. Alrighty. Checklist complete. Complete. Right now would be like the best place to lose an engine. <laughs> yeah. That freaking bridge right there. You know, there's no power lines crossing it or anything. Just get the cars to see you. Nice stabilized approach. There's a sinker. Go ahead and get flaps 10. 1, 1000. 2, 1000. 2, 1000. There's flaps 10. Wind isn't too bad. Flaps 20. 1, 1000. 2, 1000. 3, 1000. The runway's made. Power's coming to idle. Those at the numbers. Little nose up trim. Begin the round out. Arrest the descent. And here's the flare. Hold it off. There's a balloon. Hold it off. Very nice. We're gonna roll out. Alrighty. Welcome to Galveston. November 9 or 9 or 1. If you'd like to make a quick 180 back to Delta, that'll be approved. Okay, we'll make the uh, 180 back to Delta 9 or 9 or 1. Thanks. November 991, make a ride at Delta. Taxi via Delta, cross runway 18, all the way into parking on this frequency. Okay, ride on Delta, cross runway 18, and taxi into parking on Delta with you on this frequency 9 or 9 or 1. Uh, strobes. The strobes are off. Landing light. Landing light's going to stay on. Yeah, pedo. Peter heats off. Mixture. Mixture is leaned. Trim. Trim is set for takeoff. Transponder. Squawk in altitude. We'll go with squawk VFR. Ready? After landing check. That was a cool flight. I like that. Yeah. The I 10 corridor. I think uh, I, I've never heard, I mean, I think I've heard of people doing that corridor in front of downtown before, but I didn't know how close it took us to downtown. So we're going to do that later tonight, actually. We're going to eat here, go back, and we're actually going to do that again at night. Uh, but now we're in Galveston and they're out of crew cars because apparently this is a popular lunch spot. And it's a nice day, but uh, we're gonna grab an Uber and go to whatever place it was that you decided to go to and grab some seafood. We tied down the airplane and went into town to get some fantastic seafood right on the beach. We waited for the sun to sink a bit more and we got the airplane ready for a night flight back to Hooks Airport through the I-10 corridor like we just did. For this flight, I wanted to let Jessica sit left seat and do everything so I could take some good photos of the lights of Houston. And that flight will be in the next video. If you like this video, be sure and hit like and subscribe if you haven't and you can shop merch and gear as well as gain access to exclusive content all on aviation101.com. And your support there is what makes this free content on YouTube continue continue to be possible. Until next time, I want you to stay happy, healthy, current, and of course stay proficient, and we'll see you in the next video where Jessica and I traverse the Houston-class Bravo airspace at night. Fly safe.